to our Survivor guy? The guy who walked across America to be on Survivor? And they too, told him he was too happy. Only so he's to, not only to be, be told Survivor. that he was too nice of a guy what? to be on Survivor. What? Yeah. All that way, and yeah. then he's too... Call Eric Dieters. Sue him. <laughs> Sue him. How would you... God bless that guy. Well, we're, we're going to talk to him, but right now it's traffic and weather together. Johnny, what do you got? Hey, uh, not too bad on the so far this afternoon. Just take a look at northbound 75. You're off on the brakes as you make your way towards the lateral. Southbound 75, kind of an extra couple of minutes. You're off on the brakes from the lateral to St. Bernard. One accident in the cleanup stages, West McMillan at Victor. Get on demand traffic at 700WLW.com before leaving the house or office. I'm John Sturworth with traffic on 700WLW. Power of five weather, partly to mostly cloudy. Maybe some storms for the evening. 68 the low, partly to mostly cloudy. A chance of storms in the afternoon for, to, uh, for tomorrow, uh, afternoon and evening. Still muggy. 86 is the high. It's 82 now. 700WLW. That is Tracy back with our buddy, Greg Insko. How are you? <laughs> I love you, Cincinnati! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you're not too knocked down, brother. Whereabouts are you right now? Uh, I'm actually hitchhiking home right now. Uh, I am uh, still in California, and uh, oh my gosh, I, I don't. Where do I begin, guys? You know, where, where do I got? Where, where do I begin? Who do I got to kill to get on Survivor? So, well, tell us what happened, Greg, since we last talked to you. You know what? Uh, basically, um, I met with the producer uh, firsthand, you know, everything. And the whole thing, I got to be honest, it just felt fake. You know, they had the balloons and the buff and blah, 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 blah. And it just, I, something wasn't right, you know. My, my, my senses were tingling, you know. I just knew something wasn't right. So, uh, you know, it just didn't go well, I didn't think anyway. And then the next day I get a call from uh, the main uh, casting director lady. And uh, she goes, you know, you would get eaten alive out there. I'm like, eaten alive? Are you kidding me? By who, Ronald McDonald? What, are the next two uh, seasons of uh, Survivor going to be filmed inside of a, a large animal's mouth? Is that what you mean by getting eaten alive? Are you kidding me? So, Greg, so, uh, they, 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 they didn't like you because you're a nice guy? Yeah, yeah, nice guy finished last, but I would just like to prove somebody wrong for once. But, you know, they, they said, you know, they got to be honest with me, and they can't sugarcoat things, but I just don't have what it takes. You know, why don't you come walk 2,200 miles and then tell me I don't have what it takes? You know what I mean? I did more in the last two and a half months than the Bush administration did in eight years. You know, <laughs> I just... I'm, ah, you know, and the worst part was they kept comparing me to models because they recruit a lot of the people for the show, and uh, they kept saying, you know, models they have it harder because um, they they don't know when they're going to get their next check or where they're going to be sometimes, and they only make seventy thousand dollars a year uh, in in L. A. That's not a lot of money, and I'm like, lose flesh, they're models, they're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Go find a sugar daddy. Get over yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not a model. I'm ugly. I'm a real human being. I'm not an actor. I'm not a model. You know, I, I, my reality is now I got to go home. I'm 70 grand in credit card debt. I've got one dollar in my wallet right now. My car got repossessed two days ago. Wow. My house is in foreclosure because the tenants are watching the news and seeing that they can get away with not paying their rent. That's reality. You know, and on top of that, uh, I have, you know, I've been in real estate eight years now and I've never had a shooting or anything. Since I've been gone, I've had three tenants murdered. That's real life. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't get any realer than that. So, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm beside, I don't know, you know, if they think that Cincinnati is going down without a fight, they got another thing coming. We're like, the, we're one of the top um, survivor um, oh, areas. Right. Absolutely. This has been one of the top markets for survivors since it came on. Yeah, yeah. Greg, Greg, what are you, you know, going to do? I mean, you are $70,000 in debt. You don't have a job. <laughs> you, you know what? I'm going to keep smiling. That's what I'm going to do because, uh, you know what? There's always someone that's got it worse. Uh, you know, I've, I've had everything and I've had nothing. I've been at the bottom before, and I've always managed to find my way back to the top. So, you know what? I'll take it one day at a time, and uh, I've got a plan B. And, uh, you know, when I get back home, I'll tell you guys what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I think January 1st, 2010, uh, Cincinnati is going to outwit, outlast, and outplay Survivor. We're going to beat them at their own game. So uh, I can't wait to get back home. I'll tell you guys all about it. And uh, Greg, you know, how, how are you getting home? How are you getting home? Are you going to have to hitchhike yeah. all the way back home? 
I, I guess. I mean, here's the thing. I, I've had a lot of people offer to uh, pay for flights for me, and that's generous. I'm flattered. I love you guys. But I would rather see that money go to uh, Megan's scholarship fund. The girls passed away. They gave me the idea to do it. So, you know, hitchhiking's free. That don't cost anything. And I would like to believe that hitchhiking's a little safer than walking. So, you know, uh, yeah. well, <laughs> where are you at right now? The are you on the side I'm of the road a... with your thumb out right now, or are you in somebody's vehicle? <laughs> no, I'm actually in a vehicle. Uh, I'm headed uh, west on uh, 60, and um, it's funny reminiscing because I'm seeing exactly where I was walking. I'm like, yeah, I remember peeing on the side of the road there. You know, I remember eating at that McDonald's right over there. So uh, it, 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 this is interesting, that's for sure. But uh, Greg, this know, is, this is rather right. Greg, excuse me, this is rather sad. I mean, if you really yeah. think about the effort, yeah. the time, the the money yeah. that you put into it, and just to get, I mean, just kind of brushed you off, didn't they? Uh, yeah, you know, here's the thing. L.A., all they care about is Botox, boobs, and Bentleys. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to cordially invite the Survivor producers to Cincinnati, and you know what? I'm going to take them to Skyline. If they're down on hard times, I'll let them live in one of my apartments that is in foreclosure right now, ironically. You know, And, and you know what? I want to take a walk down the street, and I want to show L.A. that people in Cincinnati and the Midwest, we're, we're neighborly people. We say hi to people when we see them on the street. You know what I'm saying? We're, you know, you know, we, the Midwest, Cincinnati, that is genuine human beings. That is where the good people in America are. You know what I'm saying? And, and I said that before this whole, uh, you know, they, they turn me down and all that. So don't just think I'm bitter. But, uh, you know, it's just it's a different mentality out there. You know, trying to convince this, this producer to let me on Survivor is like asking a leprechaun to get into heaven. It just ain't going to happen. You know, these people, they don't care. They could care less. So, so uh, Greg, what you're, you know, what you're telling us here is that we're, we're – the, their dirty little secret is those aren't really normal, quote unquote, people on Survivor. No, a lot of them are recruits. Um, half, if you look at the women, if you look at all their uh, MySpace pages, every one of them is an actor. You know, if I got to be an actor or a jerk to get on Survivor, you know, geez, old peeps, you know, is, is that really what you got to do? You got to be a jerk in this world? You know, it just sucks that being a nice guy is, is, will cost me from making my dream come true. You know what I mean? But that's the world we live in, you know? So, I don't know, maybe I'll go back home and, uh, you know, start TPing some more houses or something. I mean, I don't know. What do I got to do to prove to them that I deserve to be on a show? You know, five years ago, I was a different person than I am right now. I, I don't want to go back to those days. You know what I'm saying? That, that's not who I am now, you know? So, yeah, nice guys finished last, but, you know, Cincinnati's going to prove them wrong one way or another. All right, Greg. Well, listen, man, keep us posted. Keep us on the ground floor of whatever, uh, whatever you're uh, concocting. <laughs> Absolutely. When I get home here, uh, however long it takes me, uh, I will definitely come by the studio and, uh, you know, we're going to get them. We're going to outwit, outlast, and uh, uh, outsmart Survivor. All know, right, Greg. Ever. Greg so, Gensko, we appreciate it, buddy. I love you, Cincinnati. I miss you. So, uh, I didn't want to say anything to him. Go ahead. What are you going to say? Hey, he was going west. And he was trying. He's trying to come back from California. This is going to take him two months to get back, even That's, hitchhiking. That is a good start. <laughs> we got traffic and weather together. Johnny Sturwolf, what do you got? Heavy traffic northbound 75 between Mitchell and Paddock. Southbound 75 is from Rob in Springboro. Eddie at 700WLW.com. Guys got an idea. Let's organize a boycott of Survivor in Cincinnati since it's such a big market. Maybe it'll hurt him. I don't watch Survivor anyway, but I do feel sorry for you, Greg. We were talking. It really got me down a little do. bit. You do. You're cheer yeah, yeah. out of it. I'm yeah. not kidding. Oh, well, because I think uh, being a financial advisor, I look at the seventy thousand in credit card debt. You know, you think of the interest rate there, and, and then he's got what a couple of buildings that are under foreclosure. Now he said that three of his tenants were shot and killed. I mean, that's, there's a lot going on, and he's a he seems like a really nice guy. We got to get him. In studio and talk to him. Well, the thing is, if you don't know about the uh, about the fella, he's doing this. He wants to. He's already said that he would donate if he won the yeah. million dollars. He would donate it to charity. Because apparently, he lost a friend of his to cancer, and and he's been raising money as part of it all. I mean, think about the time this guy has put in. I mean, walking all the way from here to Southern California, Santa Monica, I think is actually where he met the producers. Right. And now he, is, I guess they must have just pushed him to the side, brushed him off, says, you know what, boy, and I'm back to Cincinnati. See, that's what, that's, that's the that's thing very that irritates rude. me. Very rude. you got to pay for that guy. you got to give him a plane ticket to get him back. And I'm talking first class. Say, hey, listen, Greg, great guy. I, I 